Hi and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the pattern feature in Onshape and then we're going to focus on the circular pattern feature as you can see in the bottom right hand corner. So along the bottom here we've got a number of tabs as always. This tab which is highlighted gives you an overview of all the activities or challenges in this series and also you have a tab here which gives you quick access to different resources via okay, the main YouTube page and so on. So what we've got here as well today is a tutorial tab, which is a couple of sketches. And then we've got our reference okay, model here. So what I'm going to do is click on Revolve. I'm going to select these two profiles and the axis is this vertical here. So that will create a 360 full okay, rotation all the way around there. And I'm clicking New because this is the first sort of feature I'm creating and you see it appears here. And I can save that. Just going to add a little bit of colour to it. So I'm going to turn it into sort of an orangey yellowy colour. And then we've got this part ready to create a pattern. So if you go up here, we have a number of different pattern tools. The one we're looking at now is circular pattern. We have three different options in here. We can pattern a part, so we can select any parts that we, we would have down here, or a combination of parts. We can select a feature. Okay, so say a feature such as a revolve or an extrude or sweep or something like that. And again, we can select more than one as well. You don't have to just select one. Okay, you have more options, okay, when selecting. And we could also click on face. And face will allow us to select certain faces and uh, create a pattern in that. So if we have a look at part pattern to start with, we've then got these options as we normally have. Entities to pattern, I can select it there or I can select it here. The axis is going to be this sketch which is on the top work plane. And if we have a look at the front view, what we've got at the moment is we've got 360 degrees and we're creating four within that. If I type five, again we've got five, okay, within 360, 10, and so on. And because we've got new selected here, it's creating those as individual parts. If we want to merge it all together, we can click add. And as you can see, we've just got one part once we've confirmed this, like so. If we go back into that, remove uh, in this instance is not going to work or intersect because we haven't got anything else that's, uh, that's going to interact with. So add, we'll create one part. New, we'll create individual parts depending on the instance you enter or select down here. So we're going to go for add and we've got the angle 360 by 10. So if I just change that to five, okay. And what we're going to do is change this here. So untick equal spacing and we're going to say 90 degrees. Now if we, well actually 45 degrees is probably better. And if we type in say two and just confirm that, what you'll see, it's taking this initial part here and it's creating that pattern of 45 degrees there. If we then select that to be free, it's then going 45 degrees, okay, from that one. And again, four, 45 degrees from this one. So it's the angle, okay, is from each sort of entity as you go around. And of course, if I type in five and so on and so on, okay? The little arrow here allows you to flip that either side. So instead of having it say on the left hand side, you could flip it to the right hand side. And if you click centered, what you'll find is if I type in a small number is what it's doing is it's looking at the original part, keeping that in the center and it's flipping, it's created two in total. Okay. Either side of that. If I type in three, okay. If it, that's included in this one, it's clicking one, two, three, and then that one, one, two, three, either side like that. So that's what you get when you select centered. If you don't click centered, it will just create three on one side and you can select the side that you want. So essentially center is sorting, creating this sort of a mirror image on the opposite side like that. So just keeping it centered, symmetric, essentially. Um, if you had more than one part down here, you could merge, okay, these features, okay, merge with all, that will merge everything together and create one part, 
or the scope will allow you to select individual parts to merge in. If we untick, say, centered, as you can see, we've done that, that uh, takes that off, sort of symmetric bit. And what we've got there is 45 degrees by three. If you click equal spacing, you'll see what will happen. Okay, it's doing three within 45 degrees. So that's 45 degrees there and it's creating three within, okay, that angle. But if you untick that, okay, it's created 45 degrees, okay, between each entity. So it all depends, okay, what options you select in here depends on what you want to achieve. So sometimes it's a case of putting your angle in and your instances and just messing around with okay some of these options and you will see how that will be patterned or repeated so what i'm going to do actually is type in say 360 like so and i'm going to go for five within 360 degrees and i've got add and the single part will appear like that so that's what happens if you copy or pattern okay part if we go into the options and click edit You'll see here what we've selected before is part pattern. So that allows set any parts down here. If you go to feature, it says features to pattern. I can select any features that would appear in here. Of course, I've only got one sort of major feature. I haven't got any more in this design, so I can just select the revolve. I can then, okay, it's automatically selected the axis, which is the one there. And again, you've got the same options here, like so. But this time, because I'm patterning a, a feature, which is the revolve, okay, I do not have any sort of options whether or not I want to create new bodies or if I want to sort of merge them all together. It will automatically, okay, create separate parts. Now I could uh, save that, and then I could always go up to this option here, okay, select all these, and as you can see, I've created a union and that will then create one part. So if you wanted to select specific features, okay, that's a way of doing it and then creating a single part at the end of it. If we just delete that, and we have a look here and go into edit, and what we're gonna select this time is face. So it says, what faces do you want to select? So I'll select that one there. It's already selected previously the axis but you'll see here it's coming up with an error because it's basically saying you've, you've patterned in sort of an incomplete design. So even if I select that one on, oops, sorry, set the axis in this one. So if I set that surface, you'll still see it's coming up with an error because what I'd have to do is select that bottom face. Okay, that circular face down there. It will then create a pattern and again, depending on the instances and the angle and the spacing, whether you want it centered. But again, what you've got, okay, down here, or the result of it, are separate parts again. You don't have the option of, okay, merging those together. Of course, you can update that. And again, you can go in the options here of union, select all these, and unite them, okay, together like so. Okay, so that one, I've selected the faces. And as you seen previously, we did a feature pattern and we also did a part pattern. So it all depends, okay, when and where you're gonna use the pattern feature for what you're gonna select. So on screen, we've got this design here. And as you can see, we've created a simple circle and extrude and fill it. And then we've added a hole. So we'll go through hole designs in the future and we'll go through all these different options. I'm going to feature tutorial. But as you can see, that's got a simple sort of hole or counterboard hole. And that goes all the way through. And then we've used the circle pattern feature to pattern that around. So if we can now come to the tutorial, we'll have a go at this. So as you can see here on this design, we've got one hole at the top. And we want to create a repeated pattern. So we're going to go up to the options here and select circular pattern. We're not going to this time create a pattern or part pattern, should we say, 
and we're not going to create a face pattern we're going to choose a feature so features uh, is based the whole that's what we want to select the axis we don't have a sketch or line this time so because this is um, a, a round design we can actually use that edge there or even the edges underneath or even this surface here okay as an axis so if you have a look at the top again we've got different options in here so we've got 360 at the moment by four instances I can type 10 and it's going to create 10 okay within that and of course depending on what I want to achieve I can increase the size if we say go to 90 degrees that's going to try and create 12 within there and you, as you can see it's intersecting that's why it's come up with an error so I can adjust that I had to say do four within okay that 90 degrees there so I'm going from sort of 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock okay in that direction if I click this arrow here I can flip that 90 degrees okay either side of this okay feature that's my first feature if I click centered it's adding sort of symmetry and it within 90 degrees 90 degrees that way and then a separate 90 degrees that way it's creating four and the four includes the original feature so one two three four that side one two three four that side okay so that's what that okay centered is as you can see there if we enter the equal spacing what that's going to do is it's creating four within 90 degrees there so if i type in say 45 it's a bit easier to see so what we've got is 45 degrees between each one so if i say type 20 you'll see it a little bit, bit better as well so what that's doing is it's created one then another one and the distance or the angle between those two there is 20 degrees then 20 degrees again and then 20 degrees again if i and take this here okay it's trying to do four within 20 degrees so not like that one four 20 degrees between them so all depends on obviously the options that you want to choose so say if i go 360 and equal spacing and i want say 12 there you go it's as quick as that and if i decide to update my hole and I say, right, actually, what I'm going to go for is what we're we going to change. I might change that to say nine. You can see it changes on there. Update that. Okay, the rest of those will change because it's basically looking at that first feature. What we're going to do now is what we don't have in the options here. If you go into options, Okay, we don't have the option to sort of tick or click on the instances we want to remove because we might want okay, a certain angle between each one of these, but then we might decide actually I want to remove say the one here and the one over there. So we don't have that option to click on it. So the way you can do that is you set all your options and then we can come into delete faces. So we could come into here and go right, I want to get rid of that, that and that. And as you can sort of see if I update it, it will remove that and fill it back in. And again, within the same sort of feature, I can come to the one opposite, which is this one here. Like I say, I want to delete those and again, update it like that. So that's a very easy way of removing sort of instances, but maintaining, okay, the distances and the angles between the other features okay within that design thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description i'll see you on the next one